fear and anger, two words to describe a single mom in Westwood fed up with violence. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's ridiculous. She didn't want to share her name, but she lives at Western Glen Apartments and heard the gunshots killing Malone Amison. He was 27 years old. She says she didn't know him. I seen him laying on the ground, but I didn't see anything else until, you know, they came and did what they had to do. This playground is just a matter of feet from where that body was found. It's very concerning to neighbors here who fear someone they love could be shot next, even a child. I'm a mom of two, so I can only imagine what if there was kids out here and all this happened and, you know, that could have been anyone's kid out here. And unfortunately, it was somebody else's, but it's just. I'm sorry, it really upsets me. Some community leaders say poverty is keeping this cycle of violence going, especially in yeah. teens, hence the need for everyone's support. In the last uh, six years, we've been to over 400 funerals, and we've been to several this week. We have a couple more this week coming up. The Cincinnati Human Relations Commission is working with people in every district to curb violence. Westwood saw a dramatic increase in shooting injuries and deaths between 2014 and last year, according to CPD's annual crime report. Neighbors say they want more patrols and surveillance before reckless violence claims someone they love. In Westwood, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.